Rick, for the last couple of decades, I know that uh, most uh, railroad locomotives have been diesel powered. Uh, what have you learned over the years about the effects of diesel fumes on railroaders? Well, uh, Jim, really in the last five or ten years there's been an increased awareness that prolonged diesel exhaust fumes, like in the crew cabs of engines, can be a cause of lung cancer. Now, what the studies have shown by the 1980s, there were a few studies of railroad workers, not of other types of workers, just railroad workers. And um, several of the researchers were top flight people, one or two were from Harvard. They found a statistically significant increase in lung cancer rates among railroad workers that were around diesel engines versus non-railroad workers and the members of the public. So the answer is there is increased rate of lung cancer among railroad workers who have 20 plus years of exposure because there are carcinogens in diesel exhaust fumes, many carcinogens. Rick, um, what if anything have our government regulatory agencies been able to do to address this dangerous situation? Well, literally, Jim, in the last 12 months, there was a major diesel exhaust study that shed light on the increased cancer rates that was suppressed for literally over five years, suppressed by industries that said that the study was uh, flawed and whatever, it, it, it then got released by very reputable uh, diesel exhaust and cancer group in the United States. So EPA and OSHA both recognize increased rates of lung cancers from prolonged diesel exhaust exposure. And what have they done about it to help make uh, workers uh, safer in the workplace. There are new regulations that are grandfathered in over the next few years that require reduced emission rates from locomotive diesel engines. But that's not helping the people that had 30 years of diesel exhaust fume exposure from say the 70s till, till recently. Thanks Rick. Please go to our website at hsinjurylaw.com to immediately receive by email our free report on the do's and don'ts when injured on the railroad. If you or someone you know has suffered a serious personal injury, please feel free to contact us by going to our website or calling our 1-800 number.